This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Puzzle 3, Defining and Using a Function with a Parameter. From the video, you learned that defining multiple functions to draw different size squares results in a lot of repetitive functions. They are essentially the same, with a few numbers changed. And, and this is not desirable. Anytime you find you, yourself effectively copy and pasting large sections of code, yeah, don't, don't do that. It's usually a sign that there is a better way. Uh-oh, something's wrong. We've set up a program that runs, but doesn't do what it's supposed to do. And the program is supposed to make the drawing with two squares that look like this. Okay, what's it do right now? Oh, whoa. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Nope. All right, we've given you the square, the draw square size function that was created in the video, but it's not quite right. Fix the code inside the draw square function so that the program creates the draw drawing correctly. Hint, you should only need to change one thing about, the exist, about an existing line of code. You don't need to add or remove any lines of code. Remember, the parameter size acts like a placeholder holder for a value that gets plugged into each call to move forward. Wow. All right. That was a lot of info. So I'm going to shrink this. So the parameter size acts like a placeholder holder. So what they're saying there is this is where we define, we create our function. Size is the parameter. The name of the function is draw square. Size is the parameter. So when I call draw square up here and say 100, the computer says, oh, what am I going to run? Uh, it doesn't look over there. Um, over here and says, oh, okay, draw a square. Yep, draw a square. Size, 100. Yep, okay, 100. And then it starts running the code inside of this. Pin down, got it. Move forward. Move forward. Moving forward. Size. Oh, yeah, uh, size was 100. Move forward 100. Turn right. Okay. Move forward. Size. Oh, yeah, size was 100. And 100 is used wherever size is because size is the parameter. Now, the confusing part, and they're going to get into this, 100 is an argument. So when you are using something as a parameter, right, jaw square, 100 is argument, but regardless, it is the parameter, it fills in the spot of the parameter of this function. So this should draw the big square. This, this function call right here is what's drawing our big square. We then move and draw our small square. I'm going to slow down mine and hit reset and run. Oh. I think I see. Maybe. And down, right, size. Why is this move forward? 33. That is throwing us off. And it's why this square doesn't connect. Let's make this not be 33. We want it to change with size. This shouldn't be 33. This should be whatever size it is. Same with this. And then all sides, one, two, three, four sides, should equal, well, one will equal 100 four-sided, one will equal 25 four-sided. Ta-da! Let's double check that we got this. Does that look like... Yep! Awesome! That was tricky. So you got to pay attention to parameters and where they are going to be. Great! Let's keep going.